in the first clip here we're cutting out some new gaskets out of the material here you can see my partner is working on getting the old gasket off the flange on the discharge gasket I was able to get a good pattern off the old gasket you can see that here it came out in one piece so that was very helpful had to kind of uh, wing it for the intake gasket as you'll uh, as you'll see here in a minute so we got the inside cut out nice and round and the bolt holes and um, here you can see the intake gasket we just cut out a square sheet and then cut a nice round circle uh, and then the, and lined up the bolt holes and then we deburred the inside so that was ready ready to install there and then here in this next clip you'll see us strapping it in and uh, pushing it into place using a ratchet strap and uh, the lift table just a moment ago and now we can cut back to the original audio for the video No leaks after we got it torqued up and put some new gauges on there later and uh, we even got it spinning the right way the first time they didn't have to swap any leaks so cut the gaskets down look at the factory made got a little water under there from before we tightened them but uh, we ran it for a good 20 minutes no, no problem so got it set throttled back to its proper position there. Mm -hmm. That's all she grew. I can sometimes get to three pumps, sometimes five, and I think I'm getting better, but last night, one pump and BAM! Game over, bro.